Hi, today we're going to talk about science inquiry skills. We will learn about how scientists answer questions they have about science. Are you ready? First, let's answer this question. How do scientists answer questions about science? The answer is by using science inquiry skills. There are several science inquiry skills. We have observing, communicating, measuring, comparing, classifying, inferring, and predicting. So let's talk about them one by one. Observing means finding more information about something. When you observe something, you use your sense organs. You use your eyes to carefully look at the object. Use your ears to listen. You use your tongue to taste. You use your skin to touch. And you use your nose to smell. Look at this picture. Can you find the hiding animal? That's right! There's a frog in the picture! Nice observation skills you have there! Next, let's go to communicating. Communicating means to write down, draw, or tell your ideas to other people. Scientists always use this to communicate to other scientists. Next, let's go to measuring. Measuring means to find out how far something moves or how long an object is or how warm or cold something is. We use measuring tools such as measuring tape, timer, weight scale, and thermometer to measure. Now let's go to comparing. Comparing means to see how two things are alike or different. When you compare, you will need to observe their similarities and their differences. Look at these two pictures. How are you going to compare a worm and a snake? In this part, we can use a Venn diagram. A worm and a snake is similar in terms that they both crawl and they don't have feet. They are different because a worm is classified as, a, as an invertebrate while a snake is classified as a vertebrate. Now let's go to classifying. Classifying means to put alike things together. You can classify things based on a similar characteristic. Look at the four pictures. How are you going to classify these four food? That's right, you can classify them into fruits and into vegetables. Now let's talk about inferring. Inferring means forming ideas or inferences from facts that we know. Inferences usually answers the question, what do you think happened or why do you think that happened? To explain it clearly, let's look at the following pictures. Imagine this, you bought a box of pizza and you went to the kitchen. When you get back, the pizza is already empty and your dog is beside it. Now the question is, what do you think happened? If your answer is, the dog ate it, your answer is a good inference. It is considered a good inference because it's answered the question, what do you think happened? Always remember this question because it will help you in identifying which one is an inference and which one is a prediction. Next, let's go to predicting. Predicting is when you use what you know to tell what will happen next. This is called a prediction. 
Look at this picture. What do you think will happen next? Now let's review our lesson. Scientists use science inquiry skills to answer questions about science. These skills are observing, are gathering information using our senses, communicating, or writing down, drawing, or presenting data to show others, measuring, or getting data from objects using measuring tools, comparing, or seeing how two things are alike and different, classifying, or grouping similar things together, inferring, or answering the question, what happened, and predicting, or answering the question, what will happen next. These skills will help you a lot in science. So good luck, and that's it for today. I hope that you learned a lot in our lesson. Bye! Now let's go to classifying. Classifying means to put alike things together. You can classify things based on a similar characteristic. Look at the four pictures. How are you going to classify these four food? That's right. You can classify them into fruits and into vegetables. Next, let's go to predicting. Predicting is when you use what you know to tell what will happen next. This is called a prediction. Look at this picture. What do you think will happen next? Now let's review. Scientists use science inquiry skills to answer questions about science. These skills are observing, or gathering information using the senses, communicating, or writing down, drawing, or presenting data to show to others, measuring, or getting data from objects using measuring tools, comparing, or seeing how two things are alike or different, classifying or grouping similar things together and predicting or trying to tell what will happen next based on what you know. So these skills will help you a lot in science. I hope that you learned a lot in this lesson and that's the end of our lesson for today. I'll see you next time. Bye!